Ooh, September already. You guys, it is time to dive into our September budget. I'm pretty excited because it is one of those delightful two paycheck months that happen a couple times a year. So I've got some big goals and I'm really excited. So let's just jump in. So as you all know, we always start at the top with income and I currently have two sources of income, one of which is my W-2 job, which makes the bulk of my income and then rental income from the rental property that I bought last year. So like I said, this is gonna be a two paycheck month. So I have having an income goal of $6,500. I think it will be a little bit more than that, but I'm just going conservative here. And then from the rental, as long as everything goes well and there's no maintenance requests between now and then, it should be $459.24 in total cash flow. And as you can see from the note, that's $734, which is the rent, minus $6606, the property management fee that they keep before they send me the rest, and then $208.70, which is the current mortgage that I pay out of that money, and then the rest, $464.35 or... I don't know why that number is a little different, but whatever, like a roughly 460 a month in cash flow, all of which I am saving every penny to kind of have as a house emergency fund, but also save up for the next rental property in case anyone's curious. Now for the expenses. Oh, and before we move on, I should mention October should have another income stream now with the uh, YouTube AdSense. So that's exciting going forward. But anyway, back to the expenses. First and foremost, of course, the biggest expense being rent. That's always $1,500. Electricity should be about $60, probably a little less. Internet's always $39.99. Mohila, which is my new federal student loan servicer and the only federal, or excuse me, the only debt I have left at this point. As we know, the uh, forbearance did just get extended through the end of December, so that'll still be a $0 payment for September. And then the gym, that's always $22.99. Netflix, $19.99. Groceries and food, I've budgeted $4.50 again. Uh, hoping to eat out a little bit less here in September, but we'll see. Gas and car wash, I budgeted $100, and that is a little bit higher than normal just because I do have vacation uh what is it second week third week second week third week i don't know one of these weeks in september and i have some plans to do a little sightseeing uh so i'm guessing i'll be spending a bit more on gas in september and then chiropractor i always budget 160 that's 40 bucks a pop and i try to go every week pet supplies i budgeted 70 uh, I have not purchased, I don't think, any in August, or if I did, it was at the be very beginning of the month, so I'll probably have to re-up on cat food and cat litter this month. Massage, 115 It's usually, well, sometimes it's a little bit more on, than that. It just, just depends if I do a 60 or a 90 minute. Invest, I always try to do $100. Donate, it's always $50 a month. Now savings, this is where I'm saving up for student loans instead of paying them down. As you guys know, I'm keeping that money saved in a high yield savings account to one, grow interest while we're still in forbearance since my loans are not costing me anything, but also to act as a pseudo emergency fund while I rebuild my emergency fund on the side. So I have a savings goal of $3,000, which is more than my normal $2,500 a month goal but again with that third paycheck um that should be no problem at all which will hopefully be or allow me to get back ahead a little bit hopefully we'll see how that goes spending i did up it to 500 and that is because just the other day i ordered some new leisure wear <laughs> let's call it what it is new sweatpants <laughs> And maybe, yeah, maybe some leggings as well, but I'm sure you all can probably guess what's going on just out of frame on the camera is 100% of the time elastic waistbands, so we're just, we're just ordering some more, that's all. And what else did I get? I don't remember. Anyway, we'll see. 500 seems pretty reasonable. 
and then travel I budgeted 320 and that's because I also just recently bought a flight to Florida for December when I have a vacation the week before Christmas I am going down to see my parents so I'll be paying I always put that I always put these big purchases on a credit card just for the points or in the case of my flight um, travel rewards and then I just pay it off immediately so um, I purchased all of those things like the just a couple days ago right at the end of August and those will all be getting paid off tomorrow tonight when I get paid so yeah anyway that was a pretty cheap flight um, that's a round trip so that's not bad and then down at the bottom for debt as you all know <laughs> $160,700.22 left of federal student loans and that number has not changed in how long now? Since last December? Yeah, since December. Uh, in case you missed this week's Transfer Tuesday video, I do not qualify for any of the student loan cancellation or forgiveness just because I do make over the income cap. So obviously it's not a bad thing and I'm not upset about it. So that balance will remain the same going forward. And of course that $30,000 goal to either save or pay them down this year. And as of this week's Transfer Tuesday video, we left off with $21,365 saved. So, so that's where we sit. And then if you subtract that from what I owe, 139, 335, 22. So again, hopefully I'm gonna be able to add at least $3,000 to that savings before the end of the month. And then down to my sinking funds is just my emergency fund that is sitting at two thousand three dollars seven thousand nine hundred ninety seven to go i've not added to my car vet and medical or my travel funds and roth i've only put in eight hundred and fifty dollars so far this year i do want to do more just because especially in the last couple of days the stock market has really tanked so i really want to buy some cheap stocks but I don't know, it's also just not a hot priority. It's competing with student loans and that's absorbing my entire life right now. So it's a give and take, but hopefully we can add at least $100. <sighs> but that's really it for September. Um, also, I'm working Labor Day weekend um, and I have some shift differential and overtime. So again, I think I can do better than that $6,500 income from my W-2. Oh, and I always forget to mention, when I'm looking at this income on this spreadsheet, that is take home pay. So that's after my 401k contributions, which I um, do 7%. And after my car insurance is taken out, just because that's um, I have a corporate discount and that's taken out of my paycheck before I even get it. So it's one less bill I have to worry about. Plus it was the cheapest option for me. So yes, I have car insurance. I'm not driving around illegally, but it's just not a line item in my budget because I don't worry about it at this time. So that's all. I don't know. Overall uh, tidbits. Just trying to keep focused on my mental health. Y'all know <laughs> it's been up and down lately. So Hopefully September will be full, filled with lots of time in nature and enjoying the hopefully subsiding heat waves and seeing some foliage towards the end of the month. I'm sure that'll be happening any day now. Um, and I'm excited for the car trip that I am hopefully planning. And I am hoping to share some of those clips and photos with you all. If you guys do want to see more less of just my talking face and more of like out and about what I'm doing outside of work in my everyday life like out in nature when I go places if you guys want to see more kind of that stuff maybe while I'm talking you can be watching something else that's not just my face I don't know let me know what you guys think about that my videos I feel like are so boring when it's just me and my spreadsheet so I'm trying to make them better I'm trying to improve let me know what you guys think would be an improvement um, and what you'd like to see I would love to hear it but that's it for today um, I'm gonna talk more about about it in my August budget review video but I am finally in the black with my rental property as far as 
I've now gotten more cash flow than I've paid for maintenance and such so far this year. So if you did miss it and you are curious about all the financial bits behind my rental property, you can check out this video right here and I will see you guys over there.